Okay. So, hey guys. Um, found out the units are shipping me off to St. Adelaide again. Didn't matter what I said. They didn't hear me. Um, I'm sure some of you know what that's like. Not to be heard. To feel like you're alone in the world and, and no one cares. Um, yeah, that's why I uh, wrote this song. For you guys. And uh, I hope you like it. they're making room with her again this year. Doesn't sound so bad to me. I'm expecting you to be on your best behavior this fall. Best behavior. Got it. I thought we decided you'd leave that at home. You decided that, not me. I don't want you goofing off with that thing. Absolutely. Hey, after what you did this summer, you mess up again? If I get one call from the sisters, that's it. I'm sure he'll be fine. Zoe, Jason, welcome back. Sister Rebecca. Hi. Sister. Hi, sister. Uh, I trust you all had a wonderful summer. It was great. Jason. Don't worry. We'll look after him. Thank you. Sister Sophia? Yes. It's lovely. Please, have a seat. Sorry things have been so hectic around here. It always takes a couple of days for the kids to settle in after the summer. It's in Montana. How was that? It was definitely colder. Well, the school has nothing but glowing things to say about you. And I loved everything about teaching those young angels. The word of our Lord. Of course. Although I don't know what the protocol was at St. Val's. But here we prefer our teachers wear no makeup of any kind. <clears throat> Over there is the instructional building. The classroom will be on the second floor. The building across campus is the boys' dorm, and the girls' dorm is right there. Better to keep them as far apart as possible. Absolutely. Ah, here's one of your students now. Jason Brady, this is Sister Sophia, your new homeroom teacher. Hi. It's so nice to meet you. And Jason is our resident musician, and a bit of a celebrity from what I hear. Really? You must be quite good. Uh, I'm okay. I'll, uh, I'll see you in class. Oh, don't take offense if Jason seems a bit distant. He's been having a hard time. Why is that? Well, his grades have been falling and he got into a bit of trouble this summer. Really? Thank God no one was hurt. Come. This is your room. It's not fancy, but we've never had any complaints. It's perfect. Good. Well, I'll leave you to be settled in. Oh. Sister, we're very happy you're here. Thank you, sister.
Forgive me for not praying as much as I should have this summer. I'm working really hard to get into Wittendale. And that's all I'm really praying for. That and my brother. He's getting into a lot of trouble. This is it, man. The last year to back Sarah Croft. He give it up already, man. Come on, she's practically backed everyone else. My chances have to be good. So, Jay, how many fans you got now? I'm um, up to like 10,000. Dude, that your sister thinks. Hey, let's hit the PS4. You coming? Maybe later, man. That was beautiful. You're really talented, Jason. Your parents must be very proud. Yeah. Yeah, right. May I? <laughs> uh. Do you play? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. You know your lyrics, they really speak to you, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could say that. You know, I, I get it, Jason. I know what it's like to be misunderstood. If you ever need to talk, I'm around. Okay. I'll see you in class. Rockstar, you still in hot water with your dad? Yeah, something like that. Well, we've got the whole year to get you into even more trouble. Looks like Sarah found someone else she hasn't bagged. <laughs> Shut up. Good morning, class. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sophia. I get more grounded than I am. Yeah, you're always grounded, I feel like. <laughs> One day I'll get visiting, right? Can't wait. <laughs> Toxic tramp. Hmm. Now I understand why you seem to have difficulty focusing, Gus. I trust that you'll check your behavior. After all, you don't want to go to hell, do you? Whatever. Now, where were we? Oh, how about we take a look at your fancy new textbooks? Uh, chapter one looks like a great place to start. Ah, uh, yes, Miss Brady. Zoe Brady. Oh. Yes. Shouldn't we start with the morning prayer? Of course. Zoe, why don't you lead us? Give me, O oh Lord, Lord, I pray thee, thee firm faith, unwavering hope, perfect, perfect charity, charity pour into my heart. heart. Hey. They start getting in trouble on your first day. I didn't get in trouble. You know what's weird? Our new teacher, she didn't say the morning prayer. So? So that's like sacrilege around here. The last thing you need is a distraction like Sarah Croft. God, Zoe, are you gonna get on me like Dad now, too? Dad's not getting on you. He's trying to help you. Dude, well, then everybody can stop trying to help.
Jason? About this morning. Hey, look, I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean to interrupt your... No, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I just wanted to make sure that we got off on the right foot. Because I want this to be a good year for you. And for me. Okay. So, this Sarah? Is she your girlfriend? I don't have a girlfriend. Oh. I'm surprised. I think you're quite a catch. Have a good night, Jason. So, what do you think about the new teacher? Okay, I guess. Well, I think she's a bitch. You know, even bigger than Bieber. Yeah, we'll see. Well, just in case, I think I should take my chance now. Miss Croft! I see you did not heed my warning. Jason, get to class. Go. You're new here, so I doubt you know who my dad is. I mean, he, like, practically pays for this school. I don't care who your daddy is. Do not let me catch you with that boy ever again. Now go to class. Jason, a minute, please. You didn't think you were going to get off the hook that easy, did you? It wasn't your girlfriend. Come to my chambers after your last class and we'll have a word. I thought students weren't allowed in the teacher's quarters. Well, they are if they're invited. Sophia.
You're a bad boy, Jason. You didn't come to see me. I lied. This time. Hi, you Hi. two. How was your first week back? Good. Good. Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, Rockstar. Got big plans this weekend? Hardly. <laughs> well, if you get out on parole, you have my number. <laughs> okay, I doubt it, but let's see what happens. You know, Mr. Sophia, I know it's been a change coming here. And we may not do things the same way as at St. Val's. But if you ever need anything... Bye. Actually, Sister Rebecca, there is something. My aunt Frances is ill and in hospice at Mount Cedar. I'd like to go visit her. Of course. Take as much time as you need. I'll be sure to pray the rosary for her. Just remember the kids are back for Mass on Sunday. so weird. Our new teacher didn't give us any homework, and we should be studying for the SAT, which I'm going to have to do anyway if I want to get into Whittendale. I'm an overachiever, baby, baby, baby. Well, that sounds like a solid idea, Zoe. Okay. Hi, honey. Hey, babe. Well, what about you, Jason? Any plans? Well, I doubt I'm going to get into Whittendale. We don't expect that, honey. Just that you, you know, apply somewhere. Actually, I've been thinking about that. I want to take a year off, work on my music. Is it just me? Now that doesn't sound like such a good idea. I'll pay rent. So now you're talking about getting a job. You know, Jason, once you quit school, it makes it that much harder to go back. At least if you're in school, you're working towards something. I know what I want to work towards. It's just not what you want. That's not what I'm expecting. OK, then maybe taking a year off isn't such a bad idea. And if he's paying rent, I think it's very responsible. Yes. yes, yes. Just a starving artist. Well, so you don't think I'll make it? I'm not saying that. It's what it sounds like. And I'm going to go be a starving artist out back, OK? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip dinner. Jason. David. Even lovers forget what beats in their chest. I am home. Hello? Hey, Sarah. It's not... Yeah, I don't think I can. I'm kind of still grounded. Yeah, I'm, I'm really on thin ice, so... I'm just gonna have to see you at school, okay? Cool. Oh, okay. <laughs>
Sister Sophia. What are you doing up here? I thought I might have heard some wrestling. Well, the kids have been known to try and sneak out before. I trust you didn't find anything. No, nothing at all. Everyone's sleeping. Good. Just make sure you report any inappropriate behavior back to me. We have a reputation to uphold. Of course. everyone let's review the homework that I gave you open your textbooks to page 34 Sarah Croft what is that I can't believe this marijuana that's not mine really then what is it doing in your textbook I don't know it's probably a joke I mean, is it even real? Oh, it's real. <laughs> and you, Miss Croft, are in very... Well, she's denied any wrongdoing and insists she has no idea how she came to have it. But still, we have a very strict policy on illegal drugs. I've notified her parents. And she will be indefinitely suspended. Well, Miss Mess. These acts of wickedness rarely happen in a vacuum. It may be prudent to proceed with a full inspection of the school. After all, sister, you want to ensure that your school is clean, right? All right. In light of the circumstances, I don't think we have any other choice. Well, there goes your only chance getting late this year. Boys, if you don't mind stepping into the hall. Oh, what's the problem? We're conducting an inspection. This will only take a minute. Let's go. Move. I don't have any. I know. Move. Mr. Brady. Would you like to explain this, please? I've never seen that before. Then why was it found under your mattress? I don't know. Dude, don't look at me. You're the Alki. Shut the hell up, man. Boys, that's enough. Mr. Robertson, could you step into the room, please? Now? This is such crap. I don't know whose that is. Listen, son. All of us are tempted. We understand that. But the best thing to do here is to tell... The evidence suggests otherwise. And we can't just look the other way, Jason. So you're going to ruin my life over something I didn't do? You don't believe me. Look, if my dad hears about this, he'll kill me. Father, in light of this, maybe we should give Jason a second chance. After all, it's alcohol. It's not an illicit drug. Sister, the young man has struggled with this before. We have to tell his parents. May I speak from the heart? Of course. We have all struggled with sin. And we've all been shown mercy. Perhaps if Jason was to stay the weekend and work around the school and help the sisters tend to the grounds, we could overlook this little indiscretion and just keep it to ourselves. Jason, this sounds like a proper penance. What do you think, son? Okay. Sure. Thank you, sister. <laughs> Good. You know, Sister Sophia, it was a wonderful... Happiness with everyone. I must say, I find it so refreshing to see a young woman like yourself taking the cloth. 
It's no secret that our numbers are dwindling. So tell me, sister, when did you hear your calling? A song? That's right. I heard it one day, and it was as if the songwriter was singing just for me. Everything I think that you would want, Reveille. All the static in my mind. Mm -hmm. St. Adeline hires Montana Nun. Sister Sophia? Yes? Hi, Sister Sophia. My name is Candace. Candace Bullman. I'm a member of your congregation. I'm just a stone's throw. Oh, hello. I haven't met you yet. I heard that you've been transferred to a St. Adeline school in California. I'm afraid so, yes. I'm driving there right now. Today? All by yourself? Yes, I know. It's crazy, but God has his way of moving us around as he needs. Yeah. I'm sorry to see you go. Oh, dear God. And that was it. What's the name of the song? Ah, perhaps we should have the choir sing it this Sunday. Oh, well, to be honest, it's more like a pop song. <laughs> it's one of my little guilty pleasures. Oh, well, if that's all, I shouldn't feel too guilty about that. So what am I going to tell Mom and Dad? Just tell them I volunteered to stay the weekend to, to work, you know, to show my School, love, and spirit. Oh, yeah, because they're going to believe that. Well, if you say it. I don't know. If they have questions, just have them call Sister Sophia. Why? She fixed it. Why did she do that? She thinks I'm cool. Actually, I'm going to stay the weekend. Why? To keep an eye on you. Zoe. Zoe, come on. Okay, let me help you. Thanks. These flowers are so pretty when they start to bloom. Yeah. So tell me about your dad. He thinks I'm throwing away my future because I want to be a musician? A student like my sister. Just not. Oh, this sucks. It does really suck. Wow, it is so hot out here. I can't, I can't. 
please. Jason! Don't look so nervous. It's okay. No morning after a rat died. It's not that easy. You're a nun and my teacher. I told you last night, I'm different. I don't belong here. Just like you. We're both misunderstood. Which is why we can't say anything to anyone, especially your sister. Because if she finds out, she'll go running to daddy. Am I right? And then, well... Yeah. I should, um, get to breakfast before it's over. What are you doing here? Uh, looking for my brother. Well, he's not here. And you shouldn't be either. Did you forget about the rules about coming into the boys' dormitory? No, I was just worried about him. Well, you should go worry somewhere else. Why are you in his room? I'm conducting my rounds. Now, Scoot, before I call the father. Hey! Hey! Are you, are you okay? Yeah. What? You didn't see you at breakfast. No, I wasn't hungry. I went to your room. Sister Sophia was there. What? Yeah, she was like going through your stuff or something. What's going on? I don't know. I, nothing's going on, okay? Today. Uh, Zoe, a moment, please. Zoe, I know how important getting into college is to you. Just, I was disappointed in your test results. Are you sure? I mean, I thought I knew everything. Trust me, I'm sure. But don't worry. I want to give you another chance. Come by after your last class and you can take it again. Really? Really. Thank you. Me or does anyone else think Sister Sophia's kind of hot? Hey, I'm already going to hell for what I'm thinking of her. That ship is long sailing. What the hell's that supposed to mean? It means you can't have everything. What do you want, Sarah Croft? Do you want Sister Sophia? What else? Sister Sophia? What are you doing? Zoe. I would have never pegged you as a cheater. No, I'm not. I, I mean... I think we need to go see Sister Rebecca. Let's go. I caught her looking at the test answers. 
Even after I was going to give her a second chance. Zoe, is this true? Honestly, I didn't mean to. It was just there, and... And the temptation was too great. Remember, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Thank you, Sister Sophia. That'll be all. Well, I hope that this prompts immediate suspension, because quite frankly... I said, that'll be all. I am so sorry, Sister Rebecca. I admit, I did look at the... I couldn't help but see it. Please, don't let this affect my record. Zoe, I know how focused and driven you are on your schooling. But you must stop and think before you act. Because Sister Sophia is right. She seems strict. But she is very devout in her ways. Not really. Excuse me? There's just something different about her. She's not like any of the teachers I've had at this school. Well, we're all different, Zoe. And Sister Sophia is a very well-respected teacher. She doesn't say the morning prayer. I don't understand. She asked someone in the class to say it, and she doesn't. Well... Whether we mouth the words or not, God can still hear us as long as it's spoken in our hearts. I want you to pray every night for the next three nights and ask for forgiveness. I will. Okay. Thank you, sister. Of course. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been like a year since my last confession. I engaged in fornication, lust, whatever you want to call it. The problem is that I know what I did was wrong, but I can't stop thinking about it. It's like like a part of me knows I'm probably going to hell for it. And the other part doesn't really care. Is that bad? Father? Well, well. Bishop O'Reilly, always a pleasure. Oh, looks so beautiful, sister. We've been waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Illustrious staff. Well, I think. You know, I met her while I was on a tour of the North. Really? It was about 30 below, and the school that she was teaching at had lost the power to its heating. Sister Sophia had the children circle pretending to be penguins to keep warm really hmm well you seem surprised it's just she seems stricter here more aloof well the sister sophia i met was truly a ray of sunshine huh bishop why don't you make yourself comfortable in the lounge and i'll ask her to join us thank you sister all right Sister Sophia? Sister Sophia! Where are you going off to in such a hurry? I'm so sorry. I'm on my way to hospice. I'm sorry to hear that. Is there anything we can do? No. It's in God's hands. Of course. I'm just sorry you missed the chance to visit with Bishop O'Reilly. Yes, the bishop. Please send him my regards. Oh, I will. 
And we'll both say a prayer for your aunt. Thank you, sister. Here you go, sweetheart. Don't forget the tomatoes. <laughs> You're not. So there's a party at Sarah Cross later? I was wondering if I could go. Well, it's probably a better idea if you stay in, do some studying, maybe even look at some colleges. That's the salt, please. And maybe you can explain to me exactly why we've invested all this money in the past 17 years sending you to the finest schools. I didn't ask you to. You could have sent me to public school. You did it so you could show off to your friends. My kids got into Wittendale. I got in trouble. Honey. Sister Sophia caught me looking at test answers. Yes, but Sister Rebecca understood she didn't mean any harm by it, David. That's because she's part of the good flock. I All about track record. And people will most assuredly lose faith in you if you continue to make mistakes. Pass the salad dressing, please. Thank you. No one gave you permission to be excused. You can chalk it up on my bad track record. Dave. I'm stuck on the Wait, Jason! Dad. What's the point, Zoe? He's right. Why should he have any faith in me? I'm just a screw up. Jason! No, don't! No. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping you could serenade me. I'll be back at St. Adeline's now. My dad's working on it right now, so that bitch, Sister Sophia, can kiss my ass. <laughs> Come on. You got some ID for that? I'll take that as a no. Keep your hands where I can see them. Step forward, please. Stop. You got anything in your pockets? I am so, so sorry, officer. I, this is all my fault. I was left in charge of watching him. He has good faith that people like yourself will get him back on the right path. He just needs a chance. Please. All right, sister. You just make sure you get him home safe. And you, hey, the beer, it stays here. God bless you, officer. Good luck. Yeah, I can't go home like this. I promised my dad I wouldn't drink after the accident. Then let's get you sober. I've been thinking. Would it be such a bad thing if Jason took a year off? Gosh, she's struggling. Which is why a structured environment like college would be good for her. Yeah. 
For some. Like you. Maybe not for him. Ray's wouldn't get in a car and drive drunk. So what's happened? Where did we go wrong? I'm gonna go look for him. So what happened tonight? Nothing. Just my dad. That was a good thing I was looking up for you. Can you get this? Please? I get your frustration, Jason. I thought I never really understood me either. I thought I was a blight on the family name. But that's okay. We don't need them anymore. Because we have each other. You were following me. I had a premonition that you might need my help. Listen, Sister Sophia. It's Sophia. Sophia, what we're doing is wrong. No, it's not. I have money. I have lots of money. And I can give you everything that you need. I'll take you away. I'll take you to Paris. I can be your mute. And then no one can keep us apart anymore. No. I can't do this. I'm not going anywhere with you. This is sick. Jason, don't say that. I want to be left alone. This was a big mistake and it's over, okay? Is it her? Is it that tramp that you went to go see tonight? <sighs> Jason, you've been drinking. I don't care. Jason, please don't leave me. Please, Jason! <sighs> oh! Where are you? Hey, I'm on Riverside. Um, look, do you, do you think you can come pick me up? Uh, just don't say anything to Mom and Dad, please. I can't. Dad took the car. He's out looking for you. What are you doing out here? I was out with a couple of the guys and just wanted to be able to think, you know. Okay. Well, I can appreciate that. I've been doing some thinking myself and I've decided you're right. I've been Pushing you in a direction probably better suited for me than for you, and I'm sorry. What do you say we figure out a plan, one that you're happy with, and one that I can live with knowing that you're going to be okay? Okay. Good. Just for the record. I haven't lost faith in you. And I never will. Thanks, Dad. Well, why don't you head on up to bed and get some rest? Draw near to God, 
And God will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands. Purify your hearts. You have two minds. Begin to lament, to mourn, to weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning. Your joy into dejection. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you to the highest mountain. Then we go astray. Faking that? After all the horrible things you said, I almost thought about really killing myself. But I know that you didn't mean it. Okay. Do it. Oh, the scandal, Jason. You would forever be remembered as the boy who slept with the nun. Somehow I doubt that would go over well with your father's friends and colleagues. Mm. Mm. See you in class. Be a good boy. What? It was Sister Sophia's car. What? The car I saw this morning, remember? The car that was parked down the street. No, it wasn't. Just leave it alone. I just checked the license plate. Are you trying to protect her or something? No, I'm not trying to protect her. Just stop. stop asking stupid questions. It wasn't. Okay, okay. Look, um, you just gotta trust me. It's not what you think. I'm dealing with a situation and I just need to figure it out. You just don't tell anybody about this, especially not my dad, okay? Zoe? If you love me, you will keep your mouth shut, okay? Okay. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you later. Morning class. Morning. Who would like to start the morning prayer? Jason. Why don't you lead us? Give me, O oh Lord, I pray thee, firm faith, unwavering hope, perfect charity. Pour into my heart the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and spiritual strength, the spirit of knowledge and true godliness. Beautifully recited this morning. Sister Rebecca, what do we owe the visit? Sarah will be rejoining the class. Sister? How could she be allowed back? The decision of expulsion is up to the board. And in this case, they felt she had never been in any serious trouble before. That is ridiculous. I thought you taught values here. We do. But Sarah's parents happen to be generous donors to the school. The board will not ignore that fact. And Sister Sophia, if we expect our students to... Re so, where did you run off to Saturday night? We were just starting to have some fun. Jason, please stay.
It is impossible to run away from this. From us. I don't want you talking to that girl. You can't tell me what to do. Sarah's my friend. Your friend? What kind of friend? None of your business. It is my business. You are my business. I'm not anymore. I think you may be right. Bye. Hey. Hey, I'm sorry. I'll maybe try again sometime. Sure. We'll just have to find a way to get you to relax. I know. Why don't you play your guitar for me later? Okay. I'll meet you in the common room. <laughs> Traveled miles, followed hard, lost my way, found my star, giving up, knowing now, my own family doesn't get me now. All I am is a fire I am here to inspire All I am is a fire What is faith? What is grace? I can be so slippery. showered hundreds of times in there. I just... I can't believe it. Neither can I. Jason, have you said your prayers for Sarah? Please tell me that you had nothing to do with this. The police said it was an accident. And before you go around making horrible accusations, I suggest you take a hard look in the mirror. You're the one who's been committing all the mortal sins around here. Me? What about you? Let me tell you something. Looks like you're enjoying yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. You recorded us? I like watching you. What can I say? No, you're listening. No, 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 no. You have to erase that. Well, maybe I'll put it online. Or maybe I won't. If you act nice. It would ruin you, too. I'm already ruined. And I don't care. Jason, I don't want to quarrel. I just want to get out of here. And I want you to come with me. Please. I can't wait much longer. It's just crazy. I mean, I was talking to her like an hour before, and then 
I just find her in the shower. Come on. Come on. You've been through a lot. Let's get you guys home. This has been a week of great sorrow. Yes, it has. Even more so for me. What do you mean? My Aunt Frances passed away this morning. Lord have mercy. I am so sorry. I'd like to go to her funeral, if that's okay with you. Of course. You have my blessing. Thank you, sister. So this is Miss huh? Mr. Brady, what a pleasure to have you and your family dining with us this evening. So, how are you two holding up? The okay. house family is doing right now. Evening. May I help you? Table for one. Sir, right this way. How about you, son? You all right? Hello, Jason. Yeah? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I guess. I do not believe this. What, sweetheart? I don't want to bother you all, but I'm Sister Sophia. I'm Zoe and Jason's homeroom teacher. Oh, oh, of course. What a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. Oh, Mr. Brady, you have quite the reputation as a chiropractor. <laughs> You've done your homework. You must be quite pleased with your new position at the school. I am pleased. Although this week has proven to be quite challenging. Mm. Oh, of course. It's horrible what happened. Indeed. Well, I should get back to my table. It was good seeing you. I hope that you two find some comfort this weekend. Pardon me, uh, are you dining alone this evening? Oh, well, I, yes. I just came from my aunt's funeral. She passed away earlier this week. Oh, sister, we're so sorry to hear that. Well, we can't let you dine alone. Please, you should join us. I don't think that's a good idea. No. Jason? No, it's, um, it's a family dinner. You, you, you understand. It's, it's, it's a family thing. Son, don't be rude. So I... Please, we will not take no for an answer. In that case, thank you. Morgan, can we get another setting here, please? Oh, of course. There you are. That's very kind of you. Oh, of course. In case someone calls me. So where did you before St. Adeline. I was at a school in Missoula. Montana. Is that where you're from? Born and raised. I thought you were born in Billings. Well, yes, technically. But Billings is right next to Missoula, so. <laughs> so how do you like Los Angeles? It's different. Warmer. That's yeah. for sure. But I especially like the people. Yeah, they're warmer, too. <clears throat> well, I suppose that depends on where you go. <clears throat> Missoula is not next to Billings. It's over 300 miles away. In a state as big as Montana, 300 miles away is right next door. <laughs> Can we talk about something else? Here we are. Oh, look at this. Enjoy. Oh, wow, that looks fantastic. Thank you, Morgan. My pleasure. But you must have had a little. But her niece, Sister Sophia, has been visiting every weekend. Surely you must know her. There hasn't been any visitor by that name either. Okay. Thank you. My God, Jason, what's going on? You have to swear that you will not say this to anybody. I swear. She, um... Uh... She was flirting with me, right? And, um, oh, God, I was an idiot. I let it happen. You let what happen? I slept with her, Zoe. I didn't plan it. It just happened, and now it's gotten way out of hand. She won't leave me alone. She wants me to, like, run away with her to Paris or something. God, Jason, you have to tell someone about... 
this. No. Do you know what this would do to mom? I slept with a nun. And dad? Are you kidding me? He'd never forgive me. Shh. Plus, um, she's got a video of us. She's threatening to post it online if I say anything. Dumb here. What do I do? I don't even think she's a real nun. I mean, what kind of nun acts like this? I don't even think she's Sister Sophia. What do you mean? She doesn't know where she was born. She doesn't know how far Billings is from Missoula. Those are things that the real Sophia would know. So who is she? I don't know. Maybe we just take it to the police. With what, a hunch? She's a freak who can't read maps? Come on. I'm gonna need more proof than that. There's a laptop in a room. Maybe if we can get into it, we can find the proof we need. And then what? Turn the tables on her. Sister! <laughs> startled me. A word in my office. Why are you lying? What on earth do you mean? Since the day you arrived, there was something about you I couldn't put my finger on. And even one of my best students voiced her concerns, of course. I dismissed them. Then, I found out you were lying about your aunt. I called the hospital. There is no aunt. My Aunt Frances went by her first name, Mary. That's why they don't have a record of it. Then why do they have any record of you? I mean, surely they would have remembered a nun coming there every weekend to visit. So now you've lied to me again. I won't sorry you lying. Really weird. There are no pictures of Sister Sophia on here, but there are tons of photos of this other nun. Check this out. She has another laptop. I'm not sure where you're getting your information from, but I'm not lying. What are you doing? Calling St. Val's. I'm sure they can clear this all up. This is ridiculous. What is St. Val's gonna tell you that I can't? Oh, I'm sure quite a bit. In fact, I'm sure the dean would love to have a chat with you. What's this? Oh my God. She has hundreds of pictures of you. Give me the phone. Give me that phone. I am going to get the father. Sister Rebecca, I'll tell you the truth. <clears throat> Laura Patterson. Is that her real name? She's not a nun. You were right. She's been pretending the whole time. We gotta show this to Sister Rebecca now. Sister Rebecca? Sister Rebecca? Hey, it's Sunday. Let's check the chapel. doing where's sister Rebecca I don't know 
But she did say that you've been telling lies about me, Zoe. I'm lying? That's hilarious coming from someone who isn't even who she says she is. You recognize this? I believe your name's Laura. Laura Patterson. You're not even a real nun, are you? I knew it. Come on. No, it was you, Jason. You led me here. You wrote the songs for me. I didn't write those songs for you. I don't even know you. You know me better than anyone. Come on, it's time for us to go. I'm not going anywhere with you, ever. You're really sick, you know that? Just leave my brother alone. Don't listen to her. She's trying to keep us apart. There is no us. Sophia, Laura, whoever the hell you are, you're just... You're just... Now we can be together. I am sick and tired of people trying to keep us apart. First that slut, Sarah, and now your sister. Well, I'm done. This is for us, Jason. Get out of here! Well, sister, if there ever was a year to test our faith, this was it. Most definitely was. I just thank God he was looking out for all of us. Yeah, check out your residence, though. See what you might need. Yeah, that sounds great. Why don't you drive? Seeing as your mom's car is now yours. For real? <laughs> Happy graduation, honey. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> Got something for you too, Jason. No way. Well, if you're gonna be the best, you gotta play on the best. Thanks, Dad. I'm proud of you. Always will be. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, how's it sound? <laughs>